Supposed to get married? We were supposed to. Had secret sex with a woman in a cooler. Oh. You are crazy, oh. Rudy. We all say. I don't think I could have sex in a cooler. I mean, what, what is all that about? Their whole future is on the line. You're cheering up about it. Yes. This. No, he's guilty. He knows. No. He's you know you're going to lose me today. No. And the lie detector results are in. Outrageous drama and outrageous results. Maury starts now. Everyone, welcome Ruth to the Maury Show. Now, when Ruth first met her fiance Troy, she admits she fell for him hard. Kind of without getting to know him as well as she should have, because at times she wasn't worried because it was her own mother, Debbie, who set them up. You would think her mother had good taste. Now, three years later, Ruth refuses to marry Troy until a polygraph test can prove that Troy is not a cheating, pathological liar. Watch. When I fell in love with Troy, I fell in love with a liar, and I had no idea. My mom, Debbie, set us up thinking she found me a good man. I didn't realize until after we were engaged that that wasn't the truth. Troy's phone is constantly ringing with random numbers. I called one of those numbers back, and it was a girl. She told me she had sex with Troy in a cooler at her job. And Cooler Girl just happens to be friends with his family. But Troy claims he's never even met her. I don't believe him. This is just the beginning of all of the evidence I have. Y'all just wait and see. So now you think that you're in a relationship with a pathological liar. I know I'm in... Yes, he is a liar. You're supposed to get married? We were supposed to, You but, broke it off? Yeah, he... Well, what's the state of your relationship now? Do you all live together? Uh, we do, but um, my family's gave me an ultimatum, like, either I get rid of him or I lose everything. Right. <laughs> your mother set you all up. Yeah. You trust did. your mom, don't you? I did, yeah, but, oh, I wish I wouldn't have. So when did you first start to believe that Troy was cheating on you? Um, it started when I took him to work one night, and I dropped him off, right. and he didn't have a phone. Um, four hours later, he shows up and said he didn't have to work. I said, well, why didn't you call me to come pick you up? And he said, because I didn't have a phone. Well, your job has a phone. Your coworkers have phones. I mean, really? <laughs> like, this just didn't even make sense. What does he do on Facebook? Uh, secret messaging, all kinds of stuff. To Liking girls' pictures. Really? Yeah, he does. Right. And his phone kind of, what, never works or something, or what? He's always, he goes through a phone every three months because he busts them when I try to go through them. Oh. Uh, busted yeah. to prove I don't need a Meanwhile, phone. You found you found uh, some numbers on, on the phone. Yeah, a and number that had called his phone, and I called it back, and it was a girl. Right. And um, I started texting her. She's a liar. Her, and she told me, you're the liar. No. And, to confront this girl, wait, 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 and he wait, wait. told so me... Wait, wait a second, wait a second. So you texted the girl back.